What was the weakness of Eve for Satan to come and be able to put suspicion in Eve and make her go against her husband and through her husband Adam against God? What was her weakness? The Holy Bible says, and Eve was walking alone in the garden. The secret word in our weakness here is alone. What is happening in the world? The Lord Jesus said, you can tell a tree from its fruits if it has good roots or not. The fruits that or the deeds, the actions that are happening on a global level today, we could tell what kind of a fruits they are. They are absolute evil. You know why? Because to make a person vulnerable, make that person alone. Lockdowns. Lockdown is a way or a tactic that Satan uses. Lockdown is a fruit of Satan. Jesus, his fruits are very vivid, very clear. Jesus came to set us free from every lockdown, from every bondage, from every slavery, from every darkness. Jesus is the light of the world. His fruits are very clear and Satan fruits are very clear as well to those who have Christ in their hearts. The Lord will reveal to you Satan's agenda. He will reveal it. But those who are asleep, those who are distant from God, they won't know what has hit them. They won't even know. When you lock a person, that person begins to feel alone. When any one of us begins to feel alone, automatically they are weak. Automatically they are vulnerable. Automatically fear enters them, fear. And that is the next point. Suspicion kills faith. And when faith disappears, fear engulfs the person. You become a very fearful person. You, you begin to turn behind you and see who's following you. You'll be afraid of your own shadow. You hear a whisper, you jump out of fear. F-E-A-R. So, suspicion destroys faith. Faith disappears. Fear enters. When fear enters, you will lose track of God and his promise. So Eve was walking what? Alone. Look how the Holy Bible talks beautifully. The Holy Spirit is not wasting his time nor our time to say that Eve went on a picnic in the garden. No, my dear friends. The Holy Spirit is trying to send a very foundational message for our spiritual well-being. Eve's problem, she walked alone, not with her husband. Looks like, looks like that Adam did not give Eve everything she needed, everything she lacked. So Adam was irresponsible as a husband, as a man towards his wife, towards his woman. He was not responsible enough. He left certain vacuums in, her, in his wife. He left certain, you know, emptiness in his wife. And any one of us, the moment we feel we are empty from inside, we will seek every alternate way to find a place where it can fill this emptiness. This is human nature. The moment we feel empty, we begin to look elsewhere. And that is the danger when we begin to look elsewhere. The Lord God said, Eve, you are safe and sound when you're with your husband. 
The moment you leave your husband and walk alone, you become vulnerable prey to the, to the deceptive Satan who is like a roaring lion seeking any soul to devour it. And that's exactly what Satan did. He took the advantage of Eve being alone walking in the garden. He came as the serpent and whispered in her ears. And he said, did really God say you can't eat from all the trees? Come on. You can eat from it. God is selfish. Trust me, Evo. Yo, Eve. Trust me, brother. Eat from that tree. Listen to Satan, don't listen to God. <laughs> Our time and age, people are listening to Satan, not to God. This God, Jesus Christ. People are listening to Satan. Everyone is suspicious of the other. Everyone sits in their, row, in their corner, in their room, and begin to assume things against other people. We assume things. If you've got a problem, just confront it. Don't assume things. That's evil. That is Satan way. We are the children of God. We are not of, of Satan. Step on Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Step on him. Get up, be strong. And say, for my Lord Jesus is with me. I will fear no evil. Away with you, Satan. In Jesus' mighty name. Be a warrior for Christ. Be a warrior. When you're alone, you're weak. Now this topic, this, this Garden of Eden... It's just one amazing story. It's not a myth, as some people think. No, it's reality. For all, the entire Holy Bible is inspired by God. Genesis is not a myth. It's not. It's true. Suspicion. That was the first thing Satan did to the first human being on the face of this planet. At the very, very beginning, he planted suspicion. Because Satan is very smart in his own ways, but he cannot outsmart the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. He cannot. So he put suspicion in us, destroyed faith, and fear engulfed us. We became scared, vulnerable, weak human beings. 